Hey everyone, it's Sarah Lise here. I um, wanted to read you chapter six, Landing the Light Body from the book Earth, Creating Keys to the Living Library. It's uh, Barbara Marciniak, and she write, has written the book Family of Light and Bringers of the Dawn and a lot of other really amazing books. Um, and so I feel like it's really important to read this uh, for the Portland Priestess Portal. And I do need to use my glasses, so bear with me. Um, okay, landing of the light body. You think you are flesh and bone, when in actuality you are a combination of intelligent electromagnetic signals. The evolution that you are now going through involves the process of building and integrating a light body. Your light body must be tempered, exercised and stretched to gently bring it into its own awareness. Clarity concerning who you intend to be in your reality is one of the prime keys in building your light body. Your light body knows that it creates through thought and links you to the fabric of creation. Through your light body, timelines open, accessing multi-layered dramas, and your challenges gather force as you face a seemingly uncharted yet familiar territory. You are connected to all of existence, and your evolutionary leap is to make sense of this new awareness and put it to use in your now. Rest assured, dear friends, that a higher order and purpose exists. Your task is to translate your purpose into your body and onto earth. This purpose activates a reordering on many layers of existence, all sharing the same now. Pivotal to exploring various aspects of reality is the essential component of you taking a deeper look at your vehicle, your physical body. Your light body holds the essence of your multidimensional identity, which is accessible to you through your desire to unite with the greater identity you sense you have. Your light body will be able to juggle realities through the shifting of your conscious intent from one view to another, like turning the channels of a television. Your light body holds encoded data. It translates body co communications from worlds and realities through your physical body to you. Your task is to notice the subtleties and synchronicities that signal you. To understand yourself, envision a multi-layered being each part having a distinct body that breathes and is connected to the others. You are a physical, mental, emotional, spiritual being connected by a body of light that radiates energy and links you to an infinite progression of light beings. Matter is simply light that is trapped. As you build your light body, a reorganization of your molecular structure occurs loosening your grip upon materialism in order that a spiritual understanding may guide your day-to-day -day life. It is only through spirit that you can gain any understanding of what is happening to your world. The building of your light body allows less trapped matter to combine as light and become you. This offers you freer expression and allows you to seek your source. You will literally see changes in your body it will become more vital, more beautiful, stronger, and more capable of performing events. It will become the processor of multitudes of information. You must be able to operate with a higher electrical current inside of your body. This will eventually bring about solutions to all of the mounting challenges you face. Increased energy inside yourself will activate hidden talents and trigger a renaissance of psychic abilities clairvoyance, clairaudience, telepathy, and, perhaps, and perceptual awareness that involves knowing far beyond what you can currently consider. When the electrical current is fused with your body, a bypass is created around the traditional structures that mold you to communicate and exchange data only within limited patterns. You are going to climb a ladder and experience a different view from which to interpret reality. In the next number of years, everyone, including children, babies, and elderly people, will be affected by this electrical current. 
One of the benefits of this is that it can bring about a rejuvenation of your physical body by assisting you to heal any separations you continue to carry. The more you grasp and live the concept of creating life through thought, the freer you become, for the stress of powerless living is eliminated. Hold your vision and allow your light body to add a meaningful purpose to all that you do. To prepare for this energy, sit quietly, close your eyes, picture your body filled with light, and imagine the light flashing and cleaning your cells. Then ask all parts of your body to work together in their idealized forms. If your body works together inside yourself, then it is much easier for you as an individual to work with others outside yourself. Those who are sick inside often don't work very well outside. Attend to the inner mechanisms of your body, visualizing what you want. Your physical body exists as a frequency device. You think you are flesh and bone, when in actuality you are a combination of intelligent electromagnetic signals. You translate these signals as meaningful life through a physical body by eating, experiencing, using your senses, having sex, all those kinds of things. This is how you interpret the meaning of your electromagnetic signals, which are actually experienced by you as impulses. From outside your system, you can be viewed in numerous ways. Some beings interpret you solely as a frequency, a collection of intelligence emitting data and certain frequencies based on emotions. Others use the psychic emotional frequencies you emit for many things. Much as the frequency of gold is used to transform your consciousness and that of water to wash yourself or quench your thirst, the frequency of humans has untold purposes as you are now discovering. As you previously mentioned, within your body, as previously mentioned, within your body lies a force of power called Kundalini, a serpent-like energy that dwells at the base of your spine. Acknowledging and calling this force forward facilitates the merging and bundling of your light body. This force also helps maintain your stability and groundedness with the increased electromagnetic shifts. Traditionally, Kundalini uncoils itself and electrifies your body at around 40 years of age. By this time, you are considered mature enough to house this kind of power. For most people, the power is so profound that they go downhill from there and begin to age, rather than rejuvenate and put the great creative electrical force to use. When you have a Kundalini experience, it may feel like an intense concentration of energy in the sacrum area at the base of your spine. Sometimes when people experience Kundalini, they feel as if they want to have sex because they don't know what to do with all the rising energy. The whole planet is locked into using its Kundalini to reproduce. People fornicate like mad without ever understanding that Kundalini can move through the body and up into and around the head. If you allow it to do this, it will provide a new interpretation of yourself. You will understand that all of your creations, healings, manifestations, everything come from the natural goddess source inside of yourself. Humankind has a resistance to changing, growing, and finding new data. Much of that resistance, of course, is not natural. It has been programmed in to make you afraid to consider something new, to reach out and disobey the gods, or to become their equals. When humankind seeks knowledge, humankind becomes informed and comes closer to what would be called the goddess. You keep recreating the past by recalling it in nostalgic detail and anchoring it in the present. The cells of your body are quite free to come and go. They replicate themselves continuously. Where do they get their instructions from? They are provided by your blueprint and belief system and by the energy patterns that you carry about reality. As you change those patterns by expanding your concepts, your molecular structure will follow. Each of you has the potential to have the body you want. You can regenerate the cells of your being by remapping them, sending them a different plan or alternative route. 
As you do this, your body and experience will follow suit. Each of you has a natural vitality in your body. You have been influenced by people whom you respect and whom you believe are legitimate into accepting fearful and negative ideas. Perhaps one individual had a bad experience and they interpret it and create image making for all others. It used to be that you would have to learn many disciplines and prepare your body for years before you could successfully experience kundalini energy. It was indeed the rare individual who was able to access kundalini for a number of reasons. Earth was surrounded by a sense of frequency control. As kundalini rises in the body, it meets the cosmic forces that come from outside the body, and the body becomes alive and energized. It is just like pulling a pillar of light into the body. Those who would keep you from knowledge have had their boundaries penetrated, and the frequency control fence around the planet is like Swiss cheese. In other words, there are holes and other forms of light can now come in. As cosmic energy comes onto the earth plane, there are millions of you who are now increasing the opportunities to reinterpret what Kundalini can do. It is the force of your lives and you pulse with it. Used accordingly, it is going to bring a tremendous number of solutions. This energy connects you to a cosmic source and unifies you with a greater purpose and understanding of what you can do with it. This energy may be utilized to heal, for when it builds up in your hands, you have the hands of a healer. Many of you would be very surprised if you peeked a few years into your own futures and saw the so-called unexpected, including what you will be able to do with the energy coming out of your hands. There are individuals now who are able to hold their hands together and make a piece of paper catch on fire. This energy in the hands is going to amplify in you in each of your lives. You may use it to purify food, heal, clean the oceans, and depollute the rivers and land. You will be able to transmute the toxic pollution that is everywhere around your planet. The ability to do these things will be had by those who are willing to believe. As you believe in practice and search, you will be rewarded. Then you will show others. These are the gifts that will make a difference in the shift towards mass cooperation on a planetary scale. Therefore, you are going to work on these abilities as a collective. The unhealed and the sick can also learn to activate this energy in themselves and direct it in their own bodies. The essence of what everyone must manufacture is the value of self. Hey, if my body manifested sickness, it can manifest wellness as well. Whose limitation and whose decree of illness am I going to accept? You have stored within you an abundance of magnificent knowledge. You are the key to the living library, and you are what everyone is after, to some extent. It is a very interesting process that humans are involved with. Using your imagination, you can send a message to your brain and intend that the neurons connected to the area of imagination become more finely united. However, your toes have the same ability to carry the signal of imaging as your brain because every cell in your body is composed of exactly the same substances, no matter where it is located. Each cell has the same potential to produce knowledge, and your cells are waiting for you to direct them. When you allow society, family, and education to direct your beliefs, and you let guilt or sh and shoulds permeate your field, these are the programs to which your body responds. Your planet is going to survive its transmutation process as you recognize the power of imagination, which is tied very closely to memory. Imagination acts as a movie screen in your mind that holds images and creates blueprints of consciousness. Your body is filled with memories of different worlds, as well as different time frames from the now you perceive. As Earth evolves, you will become capable of pulling up these concepts and blueprints and finding the teachings in their purpose, as well as their significance to your now, based on what you know. Bringing memories of other times and places into your current reality unifies the significance of your life. It creates a healing by helping you understand the purpose of self-inflicted wounds. One of the most important keys we can give you is this. 
Love yourself. Honor the vehicle that you occupy and act as if you are priceless. Act as if you lucked out and received the best thing possible, your body. Honor earth as well as love and respect for it is here on earth that you stage your fanciful dramas. Love yourself and earth on your ride through the universe and your journey will be lighter. Your body is going to demonstrate absolutely miraculous abilities. Your sensitivities will develop to such a degree that smells and scents will have greater impact on your moods, emotions, and general sense of well-being. You will say, I found that when I sprinkle this herb on my food or when I have this smell in my house, I have more energy. And when I use this one, I'm quieter. Learn how to use the plants around you that are gifts from the Living Library. A tremendous and radical change is taking place within your physical body, and we cannot emphasize this enough. You are each guided, so to avoid burnout, listen to what's inside of you. Too much new information too quickly without your taking the time to slow down and integrate it can lead to overload for, adjusting, for your adjusting psyche. When you drive a car, you don't always drive it fast. You speed up, you put the brakes on, you stop at lights, you turn, you move it, move at different paces. It is the same thing with energy. There are points of acceleration and points of slowdown. This way the body builds slowly. Imagine you were a hair dryer and you spent a large majority of your time with your cord wrapped up in a little bag on a shelf. Then came the peak experience of your life. You were plugged in and used every day. If you were the hair driver, you would feel you were lo no longer alone. You would say, something has happened to my identity here. Wow, I'm on. <laughs> As a human being, you are similar. You get plugged in and suddenly something happens. So you must incorporate what happens. We liken the energy that runs through you to the electrical current that runs through the hair dryer, making it more than simply an object, making it a useful object. This is a very simple example and it gives you an image of yourself. You can be switched on so that the current of life takes you to your purpose. It is essential that you understand your body and that you are not ashamed of what your body does. What you do with your body is another story, however. There is a grand dignity to the physical form. Be generous in your body grace. If you are uncomfortable with what we are saying, then examine how much you love yourself and where dislike and shame of your physical body comes from. There is nothing wrong with the body. The modern concept of the Barbie doll as a perfected female form contributes to hatred of the female body if the body does not conform to that mold. All images, from the simplest toys to the most complex computers, affect your perceptions about yourself. Often, women who conform to the Barbie doll mold have to force and restrict themselves to duplicate the desired and approved shape, reducing their freedom of choice. The human body has all shapes and sizes and all kinds of expression. You can tell that variety is important on the planet by looking at the variety of faces. If you were all meant to be molded into one kind, there would be only a, would only be a limited number of faces that would be available as mo model types. For eons, you as a human being forgot who you were. You took on shame about your body and your body's functions. There has been little encouragement for you to acknowledge the very functions of your body. We often compare your use of your body to having a car, about which someone says, don't ever use the trunk, it is a really bad place. Don't open that trunk, don't use it, don't put anything in it, it's, it is there, but don't touch it. Don't you see the analogy? It's ridiculous. Sex in 3D can provide the energy through which you can emerge to higher consciousness. It can lead to an essential part of your multidimensional development. Sometimes it is difficult to hear about sex because you hold on to judgment of traumatic events that you are ashamed of or that you feel bad about surrounding your sexuality. Everyone has something stored away concerning the sexual part of themselves. To a large degree, there has been a plan to influence 
you to feel shame about sexuality and your body. This has kept you from discovering your power, purpose, bliss, and freedom. As your body takes on and integrates the new energy, memory will be awakened in you. Cosmic memories, as well as memories of this lifetime, offer an unfolding of who you have been in galactic history. It is important for you to have room to remember. Some of you think, oh well, I'll put some music on in the car and I'll drive to some place and practice remembering. Leave a space for memory to come into. Utilizing nature is one of the best ways to get in touch with remembering. Sitting out in nature, watching nature, being in idleness, being in the now, and letting the now expand into the ongoing, spontaneous, synchronistic moment, the ever-expanding now. Nature teaches you through the calling of birds, the beat of butterfly wings, the symphony of crickets and frogs, the shadow of life. For there is much healing to be completed once the pain of the darker side of life is felt, realized, and understood. I just skipped over a page. That was amazing. I totally just skipped over a page and it like still flowed perfectly. That was amazing. Nature teaches you through the calling of birds, the beaded butterfly wings, the symphony of crickets and frogs, the camel's bray, and the smell of desert du dust and fresh spring rain. All of these things trigger memories if you take the time to let the sounds and smells penetrate your physical being. Activating memory involves disengaging yourself from all the shoulds you have piled up for yourself. Are you busy running nowhere? Do you truly lead the most meaningful life that you can? Do you await the approval of others forever shadow of the power of radiating your truth? Please do not hide from yourselves or others. Live. Why are we telling you all this? We are intending to activate cellular memory inside of you. Before you come into the body, certain memories are made available and stored genetically within you. One day, you will figure out how this is done and understand that you are worked on when you sleep. Often you feel these rushes or zoomings of electrical pulsation through your body. These are memory inserts being put in you to prepare you for the next, your next adventure. Please understand that there is little difference between a memory insert experience and an actual life experience because reality is very constructible. Reality is not designed to be gone. Realities and cultures can be recreated over and over again. If you are a newly born soul and feel that you have missed out on all the juicy happenings in the universe, you can have memory inserts. You can create places for yourself within cultures without overpopulating them. For example, everyone wants to have been Egyptian or Maya, and there was only room for so many. Yet, you all can have memories constructed of those cultures. You can become a part of them because Mayan culture, because with the memory constructed for you, you can build another Mayan culture on top of the other one. This concept gives you a clue about the flexibility of your reality. Memory is like a pool or a mirror inside of your body, and it needs to be replenished and refreshed with the, the reflecting ability of water. Water is what enhances memory in the physical body. Kundalini fires the codes activating the light encoded filaments and bringing them into the light. These teeny fibers are filled with information and Kundalini moving through your body gives you the opportunity to own your memories. Many of you are experiencing deep memories of manipulation, perhaps painful recollections of being eaten by reptiles or mating with reptiles, or of genetic experimentation. Even if you did not experience a specific thing, in your blood, you have filaments that carry the entire history of all things. How to get those filaments to hook up to give you a viable movie is another story. You know what movie film looks like. It is made up of little squares or frames. You are like a big movie, cut and separated frame by frame so that each part of you is disconnected from all the others. As we work with you, the energy that we bring to you reorganizes those tiny clips of film. This brings a story together inside of you that is personal, planetary, and galactic. 
All of you are here to look into the dark because in the dark you will find both the light and the reason the light is returning. You cannot simply go toward the light and say, hey, darkness is bad. It is negative. I don't want to see it. Be open to what you do not want to see. Keep your heart open and trust that the pain you may experience needs to be explored so that it can be released after being processed on a memory level. You are at the time when memories are floating to the surface coming from deep recesses. These memories can bring emotional responses. Whatever you see needs to be looked at. It is you. Accept it and say, aha, based on what I know and on the preparation of my consciousness, I can look at this and see that it was a misuse of energy. That is all right. I will transmute it. I will turn it into something of joy. Do you know how many people are willing to look at negative in the dark? Not too many. Do you know how many people are living in the dark? Do not run from the shadow of life, for there is much healing to be completed once the pain of the darker side of life is felt, realized, and understood. Emotions are the sum total of your wealth as a human being. Emotions trigger the inner pharmacopoeia, your body's personal drugstore. In the drugstore of your body, you are the pharmacist. You write the prescription according to your emotional response and reactions to events. Your emotions create a corresponding chemical release inside your physical form. The endocrine system, which is responsible for the chemical responses to your emotional choices, will evolve. New chemicals will be produced inside your body that will help you change. Choosing a different way of receiving or translating reality will trigger inner doorways to open and produce substances that will take you into the higher realms, such as DMT. You are being reorganized on a subatomic level. Within your body, the light and code filaments, fine thread-like fibers, are subtle forms of energy that connect everything together. These gossamer threads are reorganized in your body through stimulation by rays and photons that come to the planet bringing cosmic energy. They are reorganized to rejuvenate your body when you drink pure, clean water. They are particularly activated through the process of oxygenation and deep breathing. There are also ways of oxygenating yourself by ingesting herbs known as blood purifiers. When you purify your blood, it is able to carry a greater amount of oxygen. The reorganization of fibers on a cellular level builds and grows, and the fibers invigorate your body in a variety of ways. All this involves activating your brain. You have the keys and the codes to open up the rest of those dormant areas, or that dormant area. The plan of intention is for human beings, based on the increase of light, to evolve into multi-talented beings. Some people are operating on 6 to 8% of their brain capacity. Someone who is using more of their brain, an Einstein for example, is using at best 15 to 20%. Ask yourself these questions. What is the other 80% of my brain doing? Why is it dormant? Why is it not hooked up? What is not hooked up? The endocrine system will evolve as DNA evolves, producing chemical substances that are combinations of intelligent geometric shapes that are combination, oh wait, these shapes will exist all over the body and will not be localized simply in the brain. Everything will happen simultaneous, simultaneously. The endocrine system can secrete psychedelic-like chemical substances that catapult you into new forms of intelligence. You have a conflict in your society about how you view drugs. Anything having to do with mind expansion has been promoted as very bad and fearful. Yet at the same time, a good portion of the world is addicted to prescription drugs that keep people sedated. In your society, prescribed drugs that suppress the natural chemical process are fine, while drugs that activate the mind and open other realities are bad. Major control is in effect concerning your ideas about what you can and cannot take into your body. Take a look at this. Your endocrine system is going to go through a massive upheaval. It is in the early stages of this at this time. Think of a small grocery store, one that is old and decrepit and has 
had the same brands of food on the shelves for 20 years. The store is outdated and is not suiting modern habits, tastes, and desires. Someone comes in and says, this supermarket's too old. I'm going to soup it up to meet the needs of society. I'm going to change the products that the supermarket carries. Supermarkets serve certain needs. And as the needs and tastes of human beings change, the food on the shelves of the supermarket must meet the new taste qualities and requirements. Your endocrine system is doing the same thing. What is making the endocrine system decide to serve new food? You are. You loving yourself, pulling the pillar of light into your body, and reorganizing the basic genetic structure of who you are. As the strands of DNA begin to discover their identities and come alive, they will change the endocrine system. Your decision to be in the moment, to love yourself, and to work with love on the planet with yourself and all people will completely change what happens inside of you. This is a key to rejuvenation most definitely. Be willing to experience yourself, your life, and your body as your own creations. The accelerated energy will create havoc on your planet, leading to a great deal of confusion coupled with radical revolutionary overnight change. Never in your recorded history has there been as much energy on the planet and has there been the kind of consciousness that there is now. So you have nothing to prepare you for what is coming. Nothing. The radical change that these movements will bring about is beyond your conception. Focus on the best that you can be, knowing that you will affect many probabilities around you. Know that for yourself, this will be the opportunity to activate a major change. Your pineal gland is being activated through the infusion of light energies, releasing a new vision of possibilities in which peace and freedom are felt and reorganized from inside. Your thymus gland is pivotal in sending the signal to your body to hold the pattern of rejuvenation. Your thymus gland shrinks the older you get. It shrivels up. It is like the gatekeeper at the base of your neck that, regula that regulates what comes from above and what comes from below. Your upper gland, the pituitary and pineal, as cranial temples are inactivated. They are basically dormant. Your thymus gland does not continuously remind your body of its idealized blueprint because it is not getting the messages to do so from the temples in your mind. The temples in your head. <laughs> this is because your temples have been disconnected from the full strands of DNA. Your thymus gland will return to its own vitality when it receives the message that your body has done its preparation and that your consciousness is ready. If you think in terms of life expansion, some of you have barely begun your work. Others have had training that is going to implode you into the next shift. Your work is a gift to the planet, a gift to civilization. If you are beating up on yourself or feeding yourself negative ideas, then you need to examine your dual loyalties. To be here in this moment says to us that you have an interest, an excitement, and a loyalty to transcend the ideas that the human species have been fed. If you are fighting this, looking in the mirror and saying, oh, look how I look, bad news, then you have a duality, a doubt, a conflict. If you have such a conflict, then the more the energy builds, the more you will feel like a rubber band being pulled out and snapped back over and over again. So if you are feeling like a rubber band being snapped, then the corresponding avenue to look in would be the inconsistency of your beliefs as you are expressing them silently or out loud. Your hypothalamus regulates the temperature and water in your body. You are water. You understand electrified water. The elements and balance of ocean water match the blood in your human body. Humans were made from the ocean. This is one of the greatest secrets of creation. The Pleiadian gods came and used the energy of the hydrogen and oxygen molecules. It is from this that you sprang. 
This is the basic key. The firmament was created, and from the firmament came life. This is one of the principles through which you were constructed. We want you to understand that there are many ways to construct humans. You have heard stories that you are made up of dust and clay. Some of these stories are not true. They are told to keep you away from the truth. It makes more sense to you that you are closer to the solid elements than those of water. Remember, we said that, this, that very often things are switched around so that you do not discover the truth of your identity. Your hypothalamus can be thought of as the gatekeeper between your physical body and your outer chakras. It is, its time has not yet come. In your present stage of evolution, you cannot comprehend its function. Yes, it does regulate body temperature and the flow of water, and water is the essence of your life. We always encourage you to be around water, to be in water, and to use water because water enhances the function of your hypothalamus gland. It keeps it lukewarm for when it needs to get heated up. The time will come to further explore the hypothalamus. I'm going to stop there because we're at 40 minutes almost. <laughs> I wanted to um, get to the energy exercise. And I don't feel like we're going to get there because, oh, we're almost there. Well, I'll save that for next time. Um, let me just read this real quick. No, that's fine. So essentially, you know, we're made up of water. <laughs> and I mean... We do know this about ourselves. We know that our bodies are made up of 90% water, and yet they want to tell us that we are made up of dirt and sand and clay. But if you have any kind of memories of past incarnations as an elemental, you will know that you've been a mermaid, or you've been a fairy, let's say, you've been a light being or an angel and so those memories start to come into play and it makes such a huge difference in the way that you operate in your daily life because you realize that you're not just this physical carbon thing you're actually made of crystalline light and once you start to activate your kundalini which is what we're going to be doing um, then you uh, get to experience a whole different way of living in your body and you know you get we'll get to really work with those frequencies and that energy that fire at the base you know and just move it through our bodies and move it up and out and you know blast out the top of our head so we learn how to move that energy and control it in our bodies and what that does is that helps us to balance all of our chakras out and energy won't get stuck in different places and so it's really important for you to understand that the activation of your kundalini helps to integrate the activation or integrate the DNA that is being activated and it helps with all the cosmic energies that are coming onto the planet right now so it's a combination of things that's happening in terms of ascension and what's the most important thing right now is to breathe deep into your body and really feel everything in your body feel all your organs feel all your breath and where it moves in your body and try to take it to the places that feel stuck or energetically um, uh, a little bit stagnant. Try to move your breath into those areas, um, closing your eyes and just really focusing on those areas within you that feel tense or have any blockages that you can actually feel. And then you can also ask your body if you, you know, want if, if it wants to reveal something to you and, and there could be like a pattern there or something that is stuck in that space that um, 
needs to be addressed. And so that will give you the opportunity to do that, to address whatever's there, and to really give it the voice that it needs to be heard so that you can um, release it or move forward with it or create some kind of a, um, you know, release of that energy uh, so that it can be taken into the light and transmuted. So having said that, I will see you guys tomorrow. I love you dearly. Blessings to all of you, to my beautiful family. And I am so grateful to be present at this time in history and to be a stewardess of information in any way that I can. So blessings, beloveds.